I'm back with um, actor and screenwriter, director, producer, Robert Davi, the new film, My Son Hunter. By the way, the website, mysonhunter.com, mysonhunter.com. Robert, you were saying in the last segment that one of the reasons that that Hollywood uh, kind of went so pro-Russian and maybe ultimately pro-Soviet is that there was a blurring of the line between artistic knowledge and political knowledge. And you mentioned Eisenstein, whom, as I understand it, was sort of one of the founders of, of method acting. Am I right in that? In other words, the idea that you become the role. Was. Stanislavski was the founder of the method, let's That's say, right. the method acting. Uh, but Eisenstein was one of the proponents of film theory and the montage sequence. Um, in the film, My Son Hunter, not many people pick it up, but I use a scene from Eisenstein's the uh, Odessa Steps, where the revolution happened, to kind of make a wink to January 6th about the uh, propaganda around January 6th and the disruption that that did. Uh, but Eisenstein was a very affecting filmmaker out of Russia that then influenced many, many filmmakers in America very, with his techniques. Very interesting. As Stanislavski did uh, with his acting. And the acting with Stanislavski, uh, again, along with the social message. That's where the group theater came out of in the 1930s. The group theater, and I talked about Erwin Pescada, the group theater was a theater that wanted to be vibrant and give a message, but it was a left-wing Marxist message in some ways that Stella Adler herself told me years later, we were wrong. Wow. Let's talk about My Son Hunter. This is a, a film... And uh, but it's not a documentary. It is a feature film that's telling the Hunter Biden story. Talk a little bit about how the project was conceived, uh, how you made this film and why. Well, first off, the uh, the uh, film was uh, developed by the Unreported Story Society, Philip McAleer and Ann McEnany, and uh, written by Brian Godswa. And uh, they brought the script to me. They saw a film I had directed called The Dukes uh, that won several nine awards uh, earlier. And uh, they asked me to direct it. I then got involved in the script and in the, I, I read Hunter Biden's autobiography. Of course, they developed it around uh, Peter Schweitzer and uh, Miranda Devine and other people from the Post when they were exposing the story. I got involved because I was frustrated, Dinesh, as most of us were, to see the first years of the Trump administration be dragged down into this Russian collusion and Putin, uh, the whole Adam Schiff, Nancy Pelosi, uh, uh, the, you call it an insurrection. You, you, you watch this go on. Any intelligent human being was watching this going on, and you had to have a ferment of upsetness, of, of rage inside you. And then add that to now the Hunter Biden laptop, where the suppression of that story was so vehement. Uh, it, it, it's, it's criminal, actually. Uh, Rudy Giuliani himself told me when they came to his office to get his information, he said, hey, what about these two laptops right here? And they go, well, what are those? He said, those are Hunter Biden's laptops. And they said, oh, well, we don't want those. So this, this is like a middle finger to the media, the mainstream media, to all those uh, uh, publications that have denied this story up until recently now, where we find out the New York Times has come out and, and they pre they perfunctory say, oh, this is what happened. You know what I mean? It did happen. And now they want to charge him on the absurdity of a, a, uh, of, of a gun permit and uh, tax evasion or some, something to that effect when there's criminal behavior beyond that. It's like stopping a thief and saying he has a taillight out in his car when he just ripped off a couple of billion dollars. So this uh, frustration, when it came to me, I needed to, uh, I wanted to direct this story to bring it to the American people. And I, my blueprint was American Hustle by David O. Russell about the Abscam uh, FBI sting and also uh, Wolf of Wall Street, those stories uh, that were true and had edginess, but I wanted it to be entertaining. I wanted it to be sexy. I wanted it to be provocative and also informative and uh, 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 show the corruption that here we have the president's son, at the time vice president's son, making deals with the communist Chinese party, with the Ukrainian Burisma mafia and the Russian mafia, and a story that no one wanted to admit to nor tell. Now, 
is it really the Hunter Biden story or would you say it is the, um, you know, in other words, one way to look at this is that you've got this rogue operator hunter who's uh, a sexual pervert and opportunist and also knows that he can cash in on his father's name and he does it left, right and center in the Ukraine and in China. Another way to look at it is that the Bidens were running almost Corleone style, a family racket. Uh, and, and, and it would be, it's not uh, Hunter's racket. It's really Joe Biden's racket and, and James Biden, Frank Biden. I mean, they were sent on bagman missions to Costa Rica and other places. Does, does the film expose the breadth of the scandal, uh, bringing in Joe Biden, who was very definitely in on it, wasn't he? Oh, absolutely. I mean, there were tre tremendous scenes. Joe Biden is played by a terrific actor called John James. And uh, Hunter is played by Lawrence Fox, great English actor who is part of the Reclaim Party in England right now and comes from a huge family dynasty. And Gina Carano plays a Secret Service agent. Yes, those aspects to it where Joe was involved. It's called My Son Hunter. It's not called Hunter. So you can now assume my son hunter the smartest man i know <laughs> that uh, joe says and we use actual quotes and actual dialogue i even put in the moment where you speak about now about the let's say like a corleone family there's a moment that was not in the script originally but when i was researching i saw that devin archer had texted hunter biden when he was being uh harassed and he texts hunter and he says to him what's going on why is your people in your dad's administration coming after me. Why are they trying to ruin my family, my kids, Hunter? What's going on here, my kids? And these Asians, they're getting in my head. What do I say to them? And then Hunter gives him a Michael Corleone kind of speech that basically says, you're part of a great family and all great families are put under pressure. And what you have to do is maintain this course with perseverance and love. Basically, he's telling them to shut up and not uh, uh, fold. And um, so those aspects and his uncle, it even, we even talk about how uh, it, it's a quick little thing, but John Kerry's son was involved with Hunter Biden and he withdrew from that organization. And uh, you have uh, Bobolinsky talking about all this stuff that everyone wants to ignore as well. But yes, we do go into the breadth of the, uh, 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 let's say the uh, Biden alleged uh, corruption and influence peddling. It's told through the story is told through the eyes of a 25 year old left wing activist who is a exotic dancer to pay for her college education. And she meets up with Hunter Biden and uh, he takes her from the strip joint to the Chateau Marmot. And the bodyguard that's put there is a uh, I cast a Nigerian uh, soccer player, great face. Uh, and he then is the one that helps her when she finds out that Hunter Biden is Joe Biden's son. And she starts to look on the Internet things about him and can't find anything. And he says to her, you can't go to the mainstream media, Kitty. You have to go to alternative search engines. And she goes, what are you, a white supremacist? He goes, yeah. I'm the black face of white supremacy. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> this is great stuff. I'm really looking forward to seeing this film. I've not seen it yet, but but it sounds fantastic. And I urge people to check it out. MySonHunter.com is the website. Robert Davi, thank you very much for coming on the podcast. Dinesh, thank you. God bless. And thank you for the wonderful work you're doing, sir. Thank you.